Hello boys and girls, it is math time. And for math today, we are gonna uh, focus on adding ones and tens without using our 10 rods or our ones cubes. Okay, so you're gonna do a worksheet today where you're gonna be doing addition, like we normally do, but you're gonna do it without um, any 10 rods on it or any ones cubes, okay? So we still have our nice addition um, outline or a little addition chart to help us out. Um, but I'm going to read us a story, and we're going to have to try and find the answer to the math problem that's in the story. Okay? So, the blue team wins 13 ribbons at the fair. Okay? The red team wins 12 ribbons. How many ribbons do the teams win all together? Okay, how are we going to solve this problem? How are we going to answer that question? Well, we have to add... 13 and 12 together, right? 13 and 12 together. All right, so let's just make sure we have them there so we don't forget them. Okay, so we're gonna add 13 and 12 together. So let's take 13 first. How many tens are in the number 13? One, right? There's only one 10. So one, and then how many ones are in the number 13? Three, very good, three. All right, there we go, we have 13. All right, what about 12? How many tens are in the number 12? One. Good. And then how many ones are in the number 12? Two. Awesome. All right, so there we go. We have it written out, 13 plus 12. Let's do the addition. Which part do we add together first? Ones. Good. So three plus two equals five. Good. And then one plus one equals Two. Excellent. All right, so 13 plus 12 equals two tens and five ones. What number is that? 25. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to take away the addition frame. I'm just going to erase it. I'm going to leave the numbers, but I'm going to take away the addition frame. I know what you're thinking. Miss Rabido. Oops. I was supposed to leave that number. I know what you're thinking. Miss Rabbit, you can't take away the addition frame. If you take away the addition frame, we can't do the addition. I know that's what you're thinking, boys and girls, but actually you can. So I'm going to get rid of my tens and ones. No! I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to fix that blue line because we actually still need that as the equal sign. And <gasps> Does it still show the right addition problem? Yes! 13. It's just spread apart, but 13 plus 12 equals 25. <gasps> Boys and girls, you don't need that addition chart. You can use it. It's very helpful, but you don't need it. You just need to make sure when you're adding two-digit uh, two numbers and you're adding them vertically, so up and down, that you need to put, make sure the ones are lined up together and the tens are lined up together. Makes sense, right? All right, good. Okay, so we solved that 13 plus 12 equals 25. So they got 25 ribbons in all. All right, let's see. Let's try another one, but I'm not going to put the rest of the addition um, chart back up. I'm not going to because we don't need it, right? All right, let's get rid of these guys. All right. Okay, so we still have the plus sign and the equal sign. Good. We need that. Okay, so let's listen to this story and we can um, solve the problem. All right, the track team runs 22 laps in the morning. All right, don't want to forget, 22 laps in the morning. It runs 35 laps in the afternoon. That's a lot of running. 35 laps in the afternoon. So how many laps does the track team run in one day? Okay, so 22 and 35. What do we need to do to those numbers to find how many laps there are in all? Add them, right? We gotta add them together. So let's start off with 22. Okay, how should I write 22 without the tens and ones chart here? Well, I have to write it like this, okay? So I have the tens and the ones and they're right next to each other, just like how you write a number normally. Now, when I write 35, I've gotta make sure that it's lined up correctly. Okay, let's see, um, there we go. Is that lined up correctly? Are the tens and ones lined up? No, they're not, they're not, because 
this is the ones place, but my 35, my the tens place is lined up with that, so that is not going to give me the right answer. No, 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 no. Silly Miss Rabdo, that's not what you do. We need to make sure the tens place, so the tens place in 35 has the digit 3, and in the ones place, it has a 5. So those need to be lined up, all right? So we still have our ones place over here and our tens place over here. Makes sense, right? Okay, so we have our tens, or our ones, woo, our ones and our tens. So what do we add first? Ones, okay? So even though it doesn't say ones up here, you can imagine that it does because this is still the ones place. All right, so let's add our ones. Two plus five, what does two plus five equal? Seven, very good. Seven, and then two plus three. What's two plus three? Five, good. So what is our sum? What is our answer? 57, right? Five tens, seven ones, 57. So the track team ran 57 laps in all in one day. That's a lot of laps, okay? Now, you might think, Miss Rabideau, I'm not sure if that's the correct answer. Well, remember, with addition, you can switch the order of the add-ins. So remember, these are our add-ins. They're adding together. You can switch the order of them to check your answer. So let's switch the order of them. So I'm going to put 22 on the bottom, and I'm going to put 35 on the top to see if we get the same answer. All right. Okay, so again, let's start with ones. Five plus two equals seven. And three plus two equals five. Good. Do we have the same answer? Yes. So we know that that is the correct answer because we switched the add-ins and we checked it. Right? We switched the add-ins and we checked it and it is the same answer. Okay? Let's do one more. Let me get all these out of here. I'll put the equal sign and the addition sign back in in just a second. Here we go. All right, our addition sign, our equal sign. Let's see, actually, I'm going to scoot it over so we have room for when we make the next one. All right, good. Okay, so let's hear, let's see, okay, how about, let's see. How about Lucy, someone named Lucy, has 58 crayons? It's a lot of crayons, right? She has 58 crayons. She went through, counted her crayons. She has 58 crayons. But for her birthday, she gets 31 more crayons. 31 more? Okay, so she had 58. She gets 31 more. So what do we need to do to these numbers to see how many crayons she has in all? Add them together, right? All right, so let's get these lined up. So we have 58. All right, our tens place, our ones place, good. Then 31, 58 plus 31. All right, tens place, ones place, 58 plus 31. Okay, now which side do we add first, tens or ones? Ones, good. So we have eight plus one equals nine, and five plus three equals eight. Good. All right, so our sum is 89. So she has 89 crayons in all. All right, that makes sense, right? We lined up our ones places, we lined up our tens places, we added the ones together, we added the tens together. It's all making sense, right? Well, now we wanna check our sum. So then to check our sum, we've got to switch the add-ins. We've got to switch them, okay? So let's get 58 on the bottom over here and then 31 on the top. Okay, so this should get us the same sum. And that's how we're going to check to make sure we have the correct answer by adding them again and make sure we added everything correctly. All right, 1 plus 8 equals 9. Good. And then three plus five equals eight. So what's our sum over here? 89. <gasps> is that the same as this one? 
Yes! Okay, so we checked our answer and we see that we have the same sum. So that is the correct answer. So boys and girls, on your worksheet today, you are going to practice adding two-digit numbers. So you're going to have a place where you can add the two-digit numbers together. Then it's going to have you switch them and flip them like this and have them switch places so then you can add them again and check your answer. All right? So boys and girls, I hope that this all makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. But I think you guys are doing a really good job on this. You've shown with your work this week that you're really understanding it. So I'm very proud of you guys. All right? Keep up the good work. You're doing an awesome job.